So another fun proof uh, today. Um, I want to prove. Um, I, I want to write a proof that three equals four. Okay. I want to write a proof uh, that states three equals four. Okay. So here's what we're going to assume. We're going to assume that we have a set of, uh, of, of variables that A plus B equals C. Okay? We're going to assume that A plus B equals C. Now, we can rewrite this, okay, as 4A minus 3A plus 4B minus 3B equals 4C minus 3C. So let's make sure you're with me. If I said 4A minus 3A, I'd get A. 4B minus 3B, I'd get B. And 4C minus 3C, I'd get C. So A plus B equals C. All I did was rewrite the original statement. Okay? So given that original statement, what I want to do is I want to reorganize this. And I want to put everything that has a coefficient of 4 on the left I'm going to put everything that has a coefficient of 3 on the right. So I have already on the left 4a plus 4b. And then I'm going to move this guy over so it's minus 4c. And I'm going to move the a and the b over here. They become positive so I get 3a plus 3b minus 3c. Okay. Now I'm going to factor each side. If I factor the left-hand side, I get 4 times a plus b minus c. And if I factor the right-hand side, I get 3 equals a plus b minus c. And then, because I have this same quantity of 4 times this quantity equals 3 times this quantity, I can divide both sides by that quantity and they cancel out and I get 4 equals so those go away, and I get 4 equals 3. Nice, fun little um, exercise here. And the real fun part is to figure out why it's not true, because hopefully you all know that 4 doesn't equal 3. Uh, and if you have any questions or concerns or comments about this, just let me know, and I'd be happy to help you. Thank you.